Have you ever gotten a bag and loved it more each time you used it? That's how I feel about this particular bag. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Jenny and we love handbags on this channel. We love accessories, anything that makes our hearts sing. Most importantly, handbags. And I love talking about bags in general, doing reviews, comparisons, hauls, anything and everything related. So if you guys love content like that, make sure you're subscribing. I release two videos a week. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please go ahead and give me a follow. I'd love to meet you guys. If you guys have ever have any questions, feel free to DM me. So today we're doing a mini bag review and it's just this bag that I picked up actually a couple weeks ago. The reason why I didn't show it is at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it. The first impression I got when I opened it um, was that it seemed smaller than what I had imagined in my head. So for that reason, I was unsure. But once I cut off the tags, put everything in it, and started using her, instant love, fell in love. Every time I used her, I loved her more. And I'm gonna share, it's a vintage piece. It's on this Dior saddle and this is oh my gosh I don't even remember the year but it's definitely vintage as you guys can see if you follow me you know that I just love a good saddle bag and again like I know it's not for everyone but it just sings to me I just think it's the cutest thing ever I have the newest Dior saddle newest as in like most recent in the last few years um this one over here if you guys haven't seen my review on that I'll drop it below but you guys know I've been wanting to get the mini bag but i didn't want to get the mini bag i probably will never get the mini bag um at least new because they range i think they're like three some of them are like four thousand dollars depending on like the type you get which is ridiculous because we all know it doesn't fit anything um so i figured you know instead of getting like a leather bag like the one i have already i wanted to get something in denim and i've been hunting for this particular bag because I just love a good denim bag, but I don't wanna pay full price because I feel like denim bags aren't worth it. However, I do have to state that this wasn't, I did pay more than I probably wanted to, but I just loved it so much. Um, and I love it with this like beigey brown color and then this gold just like pops. It's just everything about it. The only thing is like when I first opened it, it doesn't really show on camera, but it does. It, it seems really small. Um, but what I realize is once I put my stuff in it, it actually fits more than my leather saddle that's bigger than this in the size medium. Because of the flexibility that the denim has, it really fits a ton and it still has a back pocket. Let's be real. The real reason I got this bag was to match my Dior strap. Now, it's so weird because... I think the video I made beginning of the year, I listed out things I regretted and this was one of them because, not because I don't think it's a beautiful strap, but because of the price point. I think this is like a $1,200 strap, which is insane. If you ask me today, would I buy it again? I would probably say no. However, I've been trying to find bags to purchase so I could use this strap and don't, <laughs> don't, follow my lead because that's not a good way to do it but because i already have it i'm not, i'm not gonna let it go because it's not worth it for me um i'm just gonna keep on finding bags for the strap and this one fits perfectly and i will show you guys in a little bit because this one is smaller so when you crossbody it doesn't look as awkward as the medium size but first let me just take you through the bag so you guys can see it is a denim bag. It is a gold hardware. It says CD over here. And it is in this like beautiful beigey leather. Again, like it has that Dior on the actual hardware. The straps is in wonderful condition. Keep in mind this bag is probably like 20 years old. So you can imagine, I think it's from the 90s. Yeah, it's definitely like probably might even be over 20 years old and look how good it is. Obviously, there are some like hairline scratches if you look really closely. I personally cannot see any. And the piping for the most part looks pretty good. And we all know the vintage saddles is a Velcro. I don't love that, but that's just how it was originally. I already have my stuff in here. I'm going to do a what's 
inside my bag in a little bit but and the best part is it has this back pocket too the new versions does not have a button this one does so the other one i believe is just like an open um i don't actually use the back pocket to my other one that much if you guys like drop me a comment below i'll do a comparison between my current saddle and then this vintage piece over here because i know a lot of us are deciding like is vintage better or is new better and that's actually a video i'm gonna be filming next because i do really feel like vintage sometimes is the way to go um i just there's so many reasons why and i think that's why if you guys didn't know i started a side thing with my friend called Bag Crush because I just have so much love for vintage bags and finding ones like in this type of condition that I feel just brings me so much more happiness than sometimes going to boutique and picking up something new and then finding out there's issues with the glazing or something's not working out and then I have to return it or exchange it. Um, whereas like the vintage pieces I find are usually in like A plus condition. So I don't know. I just love her so much. Okay, let me show you what fits. You'll see this fits so much more than I, I would say more than the essentials. You guys know I don't carry that much per se. However, like this fits everything I want to carry. So first thing I have in here, this is the newest thing I picked up. It's Dior. It's like a Dior um, compact. It's not a compact. It's, to be honest, I picked this up at the Sephora sale. Let me just show you guys really quickly. I picked it up for the mirror over here, but then it's just blotting paper, um, which I like because sometimes, I mean, I have compacts and stuff too, but I feel like, like it gets gross after time. And then this, you can just like throw away. And when it's done, I can refill it or just use the mirror. And I like how there's no sharp edges. It doesn't scratch your bag. It's cushiony and it's like pretty slim. So it can fit inside all my bags. Usually my phone, which I have a Pro Max, does fit inside here and I wear it like that all the time. Um, again, it's not like the leather one I have because when you have your bag full here and you try to fit a phone back here, it just doesn't work. Whereas like this one, it, it does work. Um, I carry my vitamins inside this case. If you guys have seen what's inside my bags, you might see similar stuff, but I'm gonna show you anyways. Um, my favorite lotion, this is kind of a bigger lotion. I put this um, Zumoni little case over the edges because um, I'm just like a really careful person. And I know like sometimes the edges does scratch inside of the bag. So if I can't protect it, like why not, right? Um, so that's what I do when I have everything in there. Then I have my YSL card wallet. Um, I usually use card wallets just because they're nice and slim and it fits inside all my bags. However, um, if you wanted to carry a bigger wallet, definitely could. Um, I always carry this one too, it's an eye balm. It just like gives your eyes a little refresher when needed. Um, it feels really good, it's cooling, so I like having that. I have my lactate pills. You guys know, if you know, you know it's important to have. Um, I have band-aids on deck because you never know when you need it, especially like if you're wearing sh like high heels or something like that. Um, I do have another like little twin star compact. Probably don't need to carry both, so I might take that one out. Oh, I wanted to show you guys the inside of the bag too. There is a couple different iterations of this bag. This one is just in a nylon navy blue. And then here you can see it says Christian Dior. Um, and then it has this such a cute little like zipper um, thing that says CD over here. It's so cute. I love details like this. And then it has an inside pocket. This one, I just have like some chapstick and I put like my other like lippies and stuff back here, my keys, just so it's easier to find. And yeah, when it's nothing's inside, it looks like this still holds its shape really well. Now, I know there's, like I said, different variations of this bag. There's another one where the inside looks like this. It's like a satin material um, and it is like a lot more fun. It's a lot more quirky. I like that one too. But for me, like I, something about just like a basic one really um, catches my attention. But I mean, either way, I think they're both super cute. And if you guys didn't know, this was featured in the original Sex in the City when Carrie Bradshaw wore this bag around town. And I think from back watching the show back then, I fell off the bag. So it's just so fun that I can have this in my collection now. Um, I just, I don't know, this bag is just, I was so surprised because 
Honestly, when I did open it, I did say like, oh, compared to my medium size, it does look a lot smaller or yeah, it looks a lot smaller. And like I said, I still paid a little bit more than I wanted to for this bag. So I was thinking like, maybe I should return it. But I was like, let me give it a try before I cut the tax off. I just put all my stuff in it. Um, and then when I put it on and I, I just like instantly, I'm like, no, definitely not returning this tax cut off. And I just knew that this is gonna be um, something that I will really enjoy using. Let me show you what it looks like with this. Some people don't like putting the strap on because it creates wear on the hardware. And I don't know, like, I'm sure it does. I don't do it all the time, but there are days, I, you guys know I prefer crossbody, so I'm probably just gonna do it. But it kind of is what it is. It would be nice if Dior actually provided like Fendi bags, a second D ring on here. So you can actually use it for the straps. I feel like the design of that would be a lot better than putting it onto the C. You can put it on the C or you can put it on the D. I put it on the C because I think it looks better, but again, it's just preference. But yeah, I just literally like hook it up like that. It's really easy to do, just like I do with my other one. And look at it. What a game changer. And let me show you it on. So it is, and you can wear this strap this way or that. It's just, I don't know, like maybe it's just me, but I really love it. Now, I know like the handle is still here. There's not really much you can do about it. Like I said, Dior should have made it like the baguette where you can remove the handle when you're using it with the strap and then also have like a separate area for the strap to go on versus putting it on the actual C or the D. But again, I don't know why Dior didn't think of that, um, but that's why I love baguettes from Fendi because the, the engineering of the bag just makes sense. And I think this is the crazy part, right? Sometimes we get bags, um, which might aesthetically look great and might, you know, like make our heart sing. But then when we actually use it, it just doesn't function. A perfect example of that is my Bottega Mini Jody. I adore that bag. I will not get rid of it. Um, but it is really not functional, like to open and zip it. it it's honestly a pain. Um, I still like it, but it is a pain. It's just something that you know you buy that it's more for accessory, kind of like elevation to make your outfits look cute, nice, but it's not something that is functional. Um, whereas like a baguette from Fendi, it is functional and it is cute, right? In my opinion. So that's how I feel. I think obviously like this, there could be improvements on it, but for a vintage piece, super cute. This fulfills my want for a denim bag. It fulfills my want for a mini Dior because this is obviously not a mini, but I feel like it's still smaller. I would say like if Dior renamed everything, this would be considered like the small size and then my medium um, saddle will be the medium size. However, like I said, this actually fits more. So if you guys are looking to get a Dior saddle, if you wanted to actually fit stuff in it, I would maybe consider not getting the leather version and getting something that is more um, like fabric denim or something like that. Because it's honestly, out of all the stuff I shared, I can actually fit even more in there. I just don't need to carry that much. So that is it, you guys. That is just my little bag reveal of my new to me Dior vintage saddle. I love it so much. And one last side note, um, why I love vintage bags is, you know, when you get a new bag and like every scratch on it, or if it comes with imperfections, it really gets you sometimes because we pay so much for our bags versus like a vintage bag. It's not going to be perfect, especially when a bag is like 20 years old. Obviously, if I look at this, I mean, there's not much, but you might see like a scratch or two, or maybe like the leather is a little worn. I don't know, like little things like that, which doesn't bother me because I know that this bag is 20 years old. I know that it's had love and I'm okay with it. There's like a story behind it. And I feel like I can actually use it now without having to baby it. And that's the best part. Um, because as much as we don't want to baby our bags, if you're paying so much, it's just kind of like innate. It's hard not to do, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, I would say like, if you guys are debating between new and vintage, really consider vintage bags. It's so good. Um, and that is, that is pretty much it. Oh, and then one last note too, you guys know I'm doing my second bag drop. That's going to be this coming Monday. And that is, um, 5, 8 at 5 30 
Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys have time, please join. Like I said, because I have so much love for vintage bags, we have so many good bags this drop. So many that I'm tempted to keep like half of them because they're so cute. But yeah, so stay tuned. If you're not following us on Bag Crush, um, it's my underscore Bag Crush on Instagram. Follow there because I'm doing a bunch of sneak peeks on bags that are gonna be showing for Monday. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.